Hi everyone, so in the series of videos on solid principles, the next principle is the open closed principle. It says that software entities, that is classes, modules, functions, etc., should be open for extension but not for modification. It means once a module is written and tested, and if we want to add new functionality to it, it should not be modified. Instead, if we want to add new functionality, new module should be created which extends the behavior of the existing ones. So let's try to understand this with the help of an example where we will first violate the open close principle by modifying the existing modules or existing code to add new functionality and then we will refactor the code. So let's head over to IntelliJ. So let's first see an example of a shape class where the open close principle is violated and then we will refactor the code to adhere to the open close principle. So in our shape class we will be having a calculate area method which calculates the area of the shape depending on the type of the shape. So let's start let's create a class called shape. So we will be needing a type string type variable called we can name it as type so that to de determine what kind of shape is there so initially we will be taking two shapes basically a circle and a rectangle so we need to define variables like radius width and height in order to calculate the area of the circle and rectangle so let's define it Now let's initialize these variables in a constructor. Let's create a calculate area method. So so we'll check if the type dot equals rectangle. In that case, we will return the area of the rectangle. So let's calculate that in that in another method. Calculate rectangle area else if type dot equals circle so return we'll we will return the area of the circle which we will calculate in a separate method so calculate circle area or else return zero so now let's create these methods. So the area of circle is given by pi r square. So we will return math dot pi into radius into radius. Similarly for rectangle we will return width into height. So this is our shape class. Now in the main methods let's create two objects one called circle and one called rectangle so the type is circle and in our constructor the, the second variable is radius so let's pass that is 4 and let's pass 0 and 0 for height and width similarly for rectangle the type is rectangle let's pass the radius as 0 and width as 4 height as 4 and width as 6 now let's create another class called area calculator which will be used to calculate the total area that is the area of all the shapes so let's 
let's define a method called calculate total area which takes as input an array of shape and we will iterate over this array so for each shape in this shapes array we will add that area to the total area so we need to initialize it and then we will return the total area so now let's create an object of this class and let's create the final total area and use this object to call the call calculate total area method so we need to pass an array of shapes so let's create that and we will pass in two shapes basically the rectangle and circle So this is the total area so if we look at it the area of the rectangle is 24 and uh, for circle it is 50.2654 so the total area is correct so this program runs correctly but this violates the open close principle so the reason is that the shape class that we have defined here is not closed for modification so the this calculate area method it contains the conditional statements which are these based on the type of the shape like for example the rectangle the circle so and if we want to add a new shape we need to modify this existing shape class to include the calculation for the new shape so in and we know that in an application that adheres to the open close principle we should be able to add new functionality such as new shapes without modifying this existing code in the shape class so let's say we want to add a new shape such as triangle so in the current design we, we will need to modify the shape class to add a new condition in the calculate area method for triangles so let's try doing that so to calculate the area of triangle we will be needing two more variables called the base and the triangle height so let's define them Let's initialize these variables in the constructor. Now we will be adding the condition to calculate the area of triangle if the type equals triangle. So in this case return the area of triangle for which we will cal create another method called calculate triangle area. Now let's create this method. So we know that the area of triangle is given by half into base into the height. So 0 0.5 into base into triangle height. Now we'll be needing to do some changes in our main method. So for our constructor, let's pass the base and triangle height as zero in these objects. And let's create another object called triangle. Let's pass the values as triangle zero 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 for radius height and width and for base let's 
pass on as 5 and height as 10 the triangle height and let's add this object into our object array and hopefully we should be able to calculate the total area so the area for the triangle would be half into base into triangle height so base into triangle height is 50 so half would be 25 so this is the total area for circle and rectangle so for the total area including the triangle it would be 99.2654 and so on so let's see if it works so this gives us a correct result but as we can see adding a new shape in this case the triangle we we have to modify this existing shape class and this violates the open close principle because this class is not closed for modification when we are extending its behavior we wanted to add a new shape and we we had to modify the class for it now ex for example we have to add another shape so we will again have to write the else if and an another condition and so on so this class violates the open close principle so what should be done instead to adhere to the open close principle we should create our program in a way so that we can add new shapes without modifying this existing code and for that we can take use of interfaces or abstract classes so let's see how we can do that so let's comment out this code basically the shape class and create a interface in, in place for that let's define an interface and let's also declare a method called calculate area now let's create a class called circle which implements this interface and let's implement this method now for circle we would be needing a radius so let's remove these and in our constructor let's initialize the radius now the area of circle is pi r square similarly let's create another class called rectangle which implements the shape interface let's implement these method, this method and let's define width and height let's create a constructor and let's return the area of the rectangle now let's create another class called triangle which also implements a shape interface and let's define the variables required the base and the triangle height and let's create the constructor now in our main method let's change these and let's create objects of type circle but the reference remains same to the shape interface and we need to just provide the radius so let's do it 4 
for rectangle let's create an object of type rectangle but the interface but the reference remains same to the shape interface and similarly for the triangle and let's provide the base and triangle height as 10 now let's try calculating the area and see if it comes the same So it comes out same so our program runs perfectly so as we can see in this refactored code each shape that is the rectangle triangle and circle they implement the shape interface providing its own implementation of the calculate area method and so this design adheres to the open close principle as we can easily add new shapes without modifying the existing code code each shape is responsible for its own behavior and it promotes a more extensible and maintainable system. So this is how we use the open close principle in practice.